the director overseeing the office of the permanent secretary, Ministry of Labor and Employment, Emmanuel Ibinosun, has called on journalists to provide adequate reportage of activities of the ministry. The director made this known during a one-day workshop for labor correspondent on strategic reportage of the mandate of the ministry, job creation, employment generation, health in Abuja. Igbinosun, while applauding the role of the media in the success of any administration, appealed for stronger collaboration with the ministry to ensure Nigerians are kept up to speed with the developmental efforts of the ministry. It will examine the activities of the ministry in achieving national employment goals through generating decent and productive employment, especially facilitating the acquisition of skills to empower and generate employment for youth and the unemployed. That the relevant departments tasked with delivering this area of the ministry's mandate are the employment and wages departments and skills development and certification. As you have the task of educating the public on the activities of government, towards delivering on government's renewed hope agenda. As one of the eight point agenda of this administration, tackling unemployment is central to the success of this administration. And every effort and policy of government on it requires adequate publicity and public awareness. I urge you also to maximize the gains offered by this workshop to impact positively on your reportage of the ministry's mandates and activities. For journalists to be able to report the activities of the ministry appropriately, they need to know what each of the professional departments are doing. Not just um, picking news by roadside or, you know, reacting to drop off it's also it will this kind of um, workshop will enrich the knowledge of an average labor correspondent that on your own you may decide to write you pick an article i mean pick a title and research deeply and come up with write-ups that we also show you as somebody that is well grounded on labor activities in the country. Most of those who have certificates, which is the trade test certificate, that come from our ministry, undergo testing, and if they are found worthy, they are classified. If you have a basic knowledge in a given trade, you are tested and issued with trade test certificate, which is grade 3 certificate. If you have reasonable knowledge such that you can do certain jobs even without uh, supervision or with minimum supervision, you are issued with trade test class 2, which is the intermediate. Now, if you are very competent in your choosing trades such that you need no supervision at all, you can roof an upstairs, say you are a carpenter, you can roof an upstairs without supervision. You even have people you are training, you can be issued with a trade test class one certificate. Okay.